The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour as we come to you each and every day at the appointed time. And it's sacred. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've had a market that was up fairly strong. As far as I can tell, uh, the big uh, pullback in the market was uh, after uh, a uh, big pop in the uh, foreign markets, especially in Europe, uh, excuse me, in uh, Asia, um, up 5% on the HSI. And that was all on some unsubstantiated uh, rumors on China changing its zero policy. Uh, 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 COVID uh, uh, lockdown policies. So you had a lot of that. Uh, you got uh, right back up into some strong uh, closes in Europe. And of course, then we rolled over fairly hard, uh, which is very interesting. You saw a huge amount of uh, uh, call selling uh, as we started to go back up. Uh, some of the other things that really bothered me, in fact, I said that the risk reward was fairly bad today. Uh, going into expiration for at least today's options. Uh, and I, I didn't quite know what it was, but I've been able to put together a few things that I know uh, uh, are storm warnings uh, in uh, the market. And let me get them up. I think they're in my newsletter from this morning. Probably the one that uh, the VIX uh, was put call ratio is very low, which we'll get to in a second here. But the one that really uh, had me thinking that we should probably have a fairly big uh, bounce out of this market was uh, yesterday's move. Um, in the Amex, which I tend to bring up from time to time on the trend, we had a 5.76, which I think may be an all-time high. Um, I'm going to have to go back and do some more research uh, before some of the data I, I've had for the last five years. But... That is absolutely, uh, as they said, uh, 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 the uh, off the charts, uh, as, uh, as uh, Engineer Scott would have said. Um, it's, uh, it, or what was it, Spock? Uh, readings are off the charts, Captain. Certainly a, a huge move. So we had that, which kind of said that we were going to get a bounce, and we kind of got part of that yesterday and then this morning um, and uh, into yesterday. So we had some fairly decent signs, but the one that bothered me, or a couple of the things that bothered me, uh, was the very low VIX PC rating from yesterday, which was about 25%, so just about one in four. And for a fairly bearish market, I'm not uh, thinking that a lot of people uh, uh, are uh, are that bullish. Um, generally, you want to see uh, highly shorted stocks uh, and markets bounce and then get short when everybody quits actually shorting. And you kind of got a little bit of that yesterday. Even just the overall equity uh, put call ratio uh, after hitting a high on uh, the second yesterday, uh, came down a bit, and generally that's it. You don't get a lot of movement in these. Uh, all you, anybody has to do is blink a little bit uh, when everybody's fairly bearish and it seems to uh, move. Uh, but uh, that's kind of it. I, you know, when we came in this morning, it was uh, the S and P's, or the spies anyway, had a very high propensity hit 377, um, and generally. Can they go higher? In fact, I had somebody ask me the question, well, can that go higher than that? Yeah. Um, what I don't tend to do is hang around, and that is it gets to my target. I go ahead and take the money and run. I'm not a big fan of uh, that, as we can have uh, the same kind of rumor that can move you up, can move you down. 877-927-6648. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. We'll go through uh, some of the earnings. Um, 
<laughs> Somebody actually knows the nautical reference here. Uh, a jibe, in case you don't know what that is, is when the big boom, that's the uh, sail toward the back, looks like the big triangle, uh, goes from one side to the other as you're, uh, as you're trying to uh, go upwind. Uh, the boom, lower the boom, is the sound the boom makes when it hits your head. Uh, question about where would I cover a snow short? So let's go ahead and bring that up first of all. Got about three minutes left here. Okay, I did that twice. Only need to do it once. Let's go ahead here and say snow. And let's go to one year and take a look. Okay. Well, it looks to me uh, with the volume you've got coming in today, which isn't monstrous, but it does look to me like before you find a decent low uh, to go long, you'd want this thing to test the May 26th low. That's 112.10. So you got about 18 bucks. You're in a gap uh, that went higher on about 5 million shares. You already have 8 million today. Uh, if you look back even farther, uh, this becomes a little ambiguous because the gap up on the 23rd of uh, June went up on almost 17 million shares. So you're coming into one gap on heavier volume, but the longer term, bigger gap uh, you're coming into but you've got that high volume low down there with 35 million shares. And, uh, you know, I don't know when you shorted this stock, uh, Pete, but uh, I think you got to sit on your hands. Um, I said uh, earlier that I wasn't looking for the blowout this week. I thought maybe it comes into next week. Uh, and maybe the huge uh, short selling, well, let me put it this way, the call selling and the put buying this morning uh, were a sign that they think uh, that maybe the retest of lows happens next week. Uh, two, 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 two. What else? Um, I'm not. Uh, somebody's. Uh, I don't know if that question is for me. Uh, but uh, am I expecting a whole lot here? Not a lot. Um, maybe we have a little bit of a bounce before we go into the weekend. I think people are a little nervous on either side to believe the uh, China news. Uh, but uh, I don't see uh, all that uh, really horrible song uh, when I was growing up in the 70s about Billy don't be a hero. I think probably pretty apropos here. I'm thinking that we'll know as we go into Sunday night. So I'd rather uh, probably uh, gird my loins. A biblical reference there. Where are those folks in Lutz? Uh, and uh, wait for Sunday night, because I would imagine that that dust is going to settle on that one way or another. But uh, certainly uh, major swings where you have a 5% move in China on a rumor tells you just how nervous that some of these folks are uh, that continue to be highly short. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're going to start going through uh, the earnings from last night and this morning. For the most part, they were fairly good uh, before they lowered the boom on a very special episode of the Power Trading Hour. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 As we come back, we're going to look at some of the uh, stocks out here in earnings. Uh, down a little bit, not uh, huge volume quite yet uh, in Amgen. Uh, back to this gap higher that had 3 million shares. Uh, you have about 1.9 million shares now. Uh, there's ointments and lotions for that, Jimmy. Let me ask a question in the den. And, of course, uh, what else do we have? Uh... Cardinal Health, uh, these things just don't seem to be able uh, to have a bad day for very many days in a row. A nice pop out here, and, you know, you probably would want, to, if you want to get long this, to come back. I continue to look and see uh, when uh, everybody starts coming back and getting elective surgery, because right now these guys are collecting a huge amount of money, and uh, with COVID still especially for people in their 60s and 70s who have a lot of, tend to have the bulk of the operations, um, they've put those off and it's been a uh, joy ride for these big uh, insurance and health companies like Cardinal Health. Um, eventually, one day the worm is going to turn on them. And no one's wanting a, a worm to turn around on you. You know that. 877-927-6648. Uh, Email me at PATH at tfnn.com and of course uh, coin global a whole lot of nothing out here coinbase about the same volume i have not looked at uh, bitcoin in a while Let's see out here Let's see is that a, have they even taken it off there it is twenty thousand up to 550 bucks Along with gold, I think people are starting to get a little nervous, um, but we shall see. Anyway, to, to, to coin, yeah, I don't see a whole lot in that. C-V-N-A, Carvana. We talked about this one last night in the den. Um, I think everybody was bringing it up late. Um, I had a kind of a warning, and I, I think I brought this up maybe a month ago on the show. Uh, that many states have uh, either considered or even um, banned Carvana from doing business in their state 
because they uh, have failed to deliver titles. And if you know anything about the uh, automotive business, basically you've got a title and they're going to probably loan you maybe 75% of what the uh, Kelly Blue Book uh, wholesale is on it, and that'll be fine. But you don't have to really give them the money back until you get the title from them back to send. And the thought, or at least the rumor or the idea, is that this thing has been a huge kind of uh, Ponzi scheme. Now, I nobody's really been able to get into the books or learn that much. I know that uh, they've been banned from doing uh, business twice, maybe three times by now, uh, in Illinois and some of the other areas. Uh, but people have had their cars for three months unable to get a, uh, a, uh, a license plate for it because they can't get the title. And that has been the issue. And uh, knowing the way that kind of the business works, I've always been rather dubious about it. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, I have no inside knowledge. But uh, there's been, uh, if not fire, a lot of smoke uh, and smoke signals all around Carvana for a while. Uh, see what is on a percentage basis. What are they down today? C A V uh, C V N A. He said uh, huge short positions down 40 percent. Huge short positions, and sometimes you're right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, down $5 and 83 cents. Um, just been on a constant sell off pretty much all day. Uh, did or, uh, did open up not too badly at, uh, what, 1293. Uh, but, uh, I think the more people start looking at this, uh, so they start getting a good whiff of, uh, the brown stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty good idea that uh, uh, eventually, because uh, it's kind of like a run on the bank, you get a run on a broker dealer. Now, the bigger thing is that supposedly uh, Carvana's got its hooks into about 200 or 250 dealerships that it may be able to bring down also. So you got to watch out for that. Now, I have no inside knowledge. Uh, this is all treated as rumor and with a healthy... Uh, dash of salt, but uh, you, you, Wall Street doesn't tend uh, to have need absolute proof. Uh, just the uh, good whiff is generally enough. Dominion Resources down a little bit. Uh, I think it was actually up uh, on early uh, earnings. Uh, dash, which is DoorDash, had a little bit of a uh, gap higher and run, ran the shorts out. Uh, it's just been really going sideways for a while. Um, you know, this one's probably coming back. It's still holding a little bit of it. But, uh, again, I'm not a big fan of going after these stocks that have uh, huge amounts of short interest uh, into earnings because more than likely um, you're going to get uh, turned for that. In fact, someone was asking me about that on Apple um, when they had just way uh, – too much uh, in the way of a short position, ran everybody out right before it actually turned. So uh, I'm kind of, uh, if you were on Caravana, eh, wait until it opens. I think that's a much better deal than taking a wild gamble on a lot of other stuff. Uh, of course, energy is uh, the rock and roller Ayatollah out here with uh, EEG not holding uh, its new highs, but certainly trying to make them. It's close. Uh, the 143.11 high on June 18th came with 3.5 million shares. Got 5.6, and I think this is just uh, good news and a bad market for those guys. Uh, Expedia actually bounced on earnings early and then kind of uh, last night and then just kind of come back. Um, and uh, eh, six and one half a dozen of the other. I don't think you make a great deal of that. Uh, Checking out the uh, chocolate one, uh, problematic. I'm not exactly sure why I didn't get a chance to look through. You got down to 224.52, the old November on uh, today, with 1.2 million shares. Uh, you're filling the gap higher when this thing started higher on September 7th. 
uh, that was on 650,000 shares. So this thing looks at at worst is or at best is probably going to consolidate around 225, and at worst could go back to 217.68. That is the September 15th low, uh, not heavy volume low, but you're going to have to get through the uh, lower 220 range first. Illumina, of course, the uh, DNA sampling company. Uh, did kind of open a little bit lower. It's been, for the most part, higher all day. Um, tough to say that there's a lot here. Uh, volume is good. Um, it needs to get back above the 3x3 three three or 9-day moving average in the next couple of days, or it will have problems, too. Uh, it probably could come back and test uh, 203 first. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And, uh, yeah. We got some pretty ugly candles in some parts of this market. Live Nation L uh, Y V uh, did open higher and has done nothing but sell off all day long. And there hasn't been that much volume actually. Um, you've gone through the low of the September 23rd uh, low that was 73.35. That had 3.6 million shares. Um, you've got this wide ranging bar out here 2.15. Um, I don't know. There's more COVID warnings and stuff like that. I don't know whether or not that has anything to do with it. Uh, talking a little bit about south of the border uh, from Mercado Libre. Had a nice bounce to uh, 1018 bucks this morning. Uh, it's kind of back. It's still higher. Nice gap higher. 
But uh, everybody uh, wants these stocks to go higher, and then, of course, everybody instantly shorts them. Uh, and that is the ev uh, essence of a bear market to a great deal. But uh, earnings were actually fairly good. Um, and uh, I think this one's probably a tough one to stay short. MGA, MAGA, Magna International. What do these guys do that other people don't do? That's the big question today. I kind of vaguely remember, but I want to be doubly sure. Designs, engineer, and manufactures component assembly system subassemblies and modules for original equipment manufacturers of vehicles and light trucks worldwide. It operates through four segments. Uh, okay. It makes things. It makes things that uh, other people don't make. Okay. Eh. You know, being in the car business could be worse. Um, but you are a little higher than you were yesterday. I think you can say about that. To, to Monster Beverage, uh, it retested high on lighter volume today. Uh, it's not back into yesterday. And again, uh, pretty heavily. Uh, there's kind of these people that just, I think, have to short these stocks going into earnings, just assuming them uh, that now that they're all going to do a, a, a uh, Facebook Metamucil uh, face plant. And, uh, again, I think you're much better off uh, probably waiting for earnings to pull a short position after the shorts have been run off. Uh, PBR, and uh, we're not talking about uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. We're talking about Petrobras. And, of course, probably the biggest problem uh, for this company, or the company, is that they are based in Brazil, and uh, you've got uh, the right guy and the communist guy uh, duking it out uh, down there. And I have absolutely no idea uh, what's going on down there as clear as mud. You certainly can't get any decent reporting on it that uh, isn't massively uh, biased uh, trying to get rid of the guy on the right. Uh, but, of course, uh, the guy on the left has done unspeakable things, too. So... But uh, everybody wants to pretend their guy or their horse in the race uh, hasn't done it. So uh, I don't know. A, a pox on all of them, apparently. Uh, speaking of uh, inherent and incredible evil, uh, we'll go to PayPal. Uh, this was the company uh, that uh, was uh, going to just take cash out of your checking account uh, because, of course, they've got all your numbers. Uh, if they were, if you wrote something they didn't quite like, um, and uh, when you look into the history of the CEO, uh, mentally uh, issues maybe, I don't know. He's certainly nuttier uh, than a fruit bar, as far as I can tell. Uh, you gap down, uh, they lost a lot of clients over the. Uh, idea that they were going to uh, find some magical censor uh, uh, in the uh, first 10 amendments instead of one for free speech. And uh, they were just going to take your money and then let you fight it out in court to get back, uh, mostly because uh, a lot of people uh, having kind of negative uh, experiences with the PayPal. And uh, But the uh, guy got some kind of weird views. Uh, my guess is that uh, this is probably not going down until you get a new CEO. Uh, but uh, eh, what can you say? Lost a lot of com, uh, uh, lost a lot of accounts. Uh, tried to say that those accounts uh, weren't that bad, and uh, now they've lost a great deal more accounts. And my guess is uh, they're going to double down. And I always love the general from the uh, uh, Hurricane Katrina and the waves who uh, said, don't get stuck on stupid. But uh, apparently, I think these guys are. Uh, hopped up on a, uh, what is that? Hopped up on a highway. I'm going to have to look up that Bruce uh, thing on uh, Born to Run. Uh, but uh, certainly, everybody hopped up on their co co uh, Kofi. I wanted to say cocaine high. Uh, uh, caffeine highs. Uh, hit a high uh, and the previous high out here on September 14th that was 93.48 uh, 
24 million shares, got into 15 million shares today. Uh, lines continue uh, around the uh, local one that I see. Um, it certainly has been cleaned up. Uh, it used to uh, uh, be kind of a hellhole, uh, and uh, they've kind of tried to get uh, rid of the riffraff that hung out around it. Uh, I think uh, the one on the corner that's nearest to me, uh, they actually mowed down, the city mowed down a uh, gas station because it had closed and become a home for uh, uh, drug abusers. And, of course, these guys were right across the street. Uh, but I hear that kind of happens all over the country, uh, that uh, the uh, views. Anyway, they've kind of rescinded those policies. Things are getting better. I still don't see a lot of people going in. It's still a huge amount of drive through traffic. And I didn't listen to the earnings call. But I'm wondering if uh, that isn't uh, kind of the trend now. On the downside, you have a high volume low that's untested at 82.43. And, of course, this tends to trade with the whims and whimsy of uh, the price of coffee itself. Uh, to, to, okay. uh, we got a nice bouncing square today. Kind of the opposite of PayPal. Uh, you've got, uh, yes, yes, the guy from PayPal is on my brown list. And uh, if you want to look that up, just uh, go to YouTube and check out Serial Mom and the brown word. Uh, anyway, the uh, square has a nice pop, decent volume. Is it holding the high? No, but few, if anything, are. In fact, uh, let's go back. I forgot to bring that up yesterday that was uh, or no we talked about it I want to see how they were doing and uh, so I'm doing a callback to the show from yesterday and that's a SMCI let's see how if they're holding for a second day out here on their highs eh, third day actually yeah, it doesn't look that bad still holding the high uh, we were talking about one of the few companies out here doing very well uh, into this uh, breaking out with volume. Um, you know, if the market starts turning higher, I want to be uh, thinking about that a great deal. Skyworks Solution, of course, uh, a lot of very bad news already in on it. And generally, when everybody's already got the bad news in, everybody gets short at the lows. A recipe for fun and hilarity, which will ensue. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute to talk more about Skyworks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And uh, as he said, uh, everybody's uh, shorting everything into earnings. Skyworks Solutions, of course, down um, on a, a bit of Apple downer news, Debbie downer news. Uh, but certainly um, Apple last night actually adding to production. So I'm not exactly sure if this was just on Skyworks Solutions actual uh, earnings or if this had a lot to do with Apple, but we'll look uh, through this one too, AAPL. Um, and of course, Apple not doing so well even on that news, um, but uh, you're testing the previous low, uh, but it is problematic. You're down at 134.37. That's the October 13th low, uh, 134.38 today. So you're within a any of that low and you're probably going to have a uh, higher volume um i think on tuesday yeah it was probably tuesday maybe it was wednesday and i get all my days mixed up these days anyway uh in the tech insider i wrote about apple having a lot of executives uh, getting fired and or leaving which is generally not a good sign that there's bigger problems afoot but uh yeah, uh, bigger problems. You came down with a lot of volume. The downside uh, to trying to short these stocks is uh, he's got $225 billion uh, at any time that he can come back and buy shares. And that's why uh, it will be hard uh, to extract uh, the current CEO out at any time as long as he continues to hold the price up. Uh, that's uh, really all Wall Street uh, is concerned about. But uh, if he gets uh, in real trouble and wants to keep his job, just buy back more shares. And you got all the money. Uh, in fact, I think you're bigger than uh, 50. Uh, you got more GDP in Apple than 50 countries, uh, the lower 50. Um, Somebody in the den asking, what did the guy do? They changed the terms. Uh, this is back to PayPal. They changed the terms of uh, the uh, user agreement to say that if you say something they don't like about them, that they can fine you $2,500. And because uh, PayPal does have links directly to your uh, bank account, uh, they can just take that money out and uh, you can sue them instead of them trying to sue you for the money or uh, that. So it was uh, one of these things where it just seemed uh, incredibly insane on the surface and down below. And, of course, uh, the, a lot of companies try this stuff, and it's always uh, the same thing, which is, oh, we really didn't mean to put that in it. It was the old honest mistake. Uh, they were just hoping that uh, people didn't see it, and then they could go back and crush folks that had uh, differing opinions about their service. But uh, that's it. 877-927-6648. Um, uh, and as always, never believe your own press because that's the only way you could do something that stupid. Uh, okay. 
and they lost half their accounts. Okay. Not a great deal people use it anymore, uh, but still problematic. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's just too big a risk. Who would want to just wake up and see $2,500 gone because they decided uh, that uh, you said something they didn't like? And uh, by the terms, those same terms, it didn't even have to be on their platform. It could be somewhere else. They didn't, you know, if you use them, um, they could just go and get your stuff. And that's it. Uh, very Hitler Youth-like. Nobody liked it. Okay, uh, let's go to the usual suspects as uh, we get ready for the end of the week. By the way, uh, Tom, of course, out celebrating his birthday. And, of course, uh, we'll have Basil in at the 3 to 4 o'clock hour. So uh, get ready for the second Keeping Helping of uh, Basil Chapman. Uh, America, uh, let's see, what do we, uh, uh, Advanced Micro Devices is up. Volume's not all that exciting. You've got this, like, trend starting higher. My guess is that this does at least test 65 before it really heads lower, and that wouldn't take much. Uh, but you could get to that halfway in that gap down from October 7th. Uh, that came down on 164 million shares. Um, you're into it today with uh, 63. Even then... It's not uncommon to see kind of at least a little push, get the people that are short out uh, and get it to 65. And if it continue with light volume, that would be uh, the time to look at whether or not that a possible ABC on the way down. Uh, what else do we have out here? Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, maybe let's take a look at NVIDIA, NVDA, usual suspects. Okay. And see, do, do, do. yeah, 145 ish. And it would be the halfway fill. You got a little doji out here. Um, not a lot of juice, but on a day like this, not a, as big a problem as one would think. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else out in here. Okay, came down with 117, 118 million shares on the 1st of September. You're back up today with 67, 68 million shares. Uh, yeah, could you still get another five bucks out of that? I think you could. So you need to watch out for that if you are short or thinking about going short. Uh, 145 would be a much better place to check back in. Not saying you should, but a much better place time to check back in before you take a look at it. Uh, Rick, uh, Rick E with an E wants to know about the TLT. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Okay, as we bring up the TLT, uh, you got your bounce. You're pulling back to what could be support. You gap back up on 31 million shares on the 25th of October. Uh, you got more volume today. Hard to think that you don't go back and retest 91.85. I thought you might be able to get to 101 on the bounce. Um, the only good thing is the super light volume today. Maybe there's a little bit more in this. Maybe it needs to consolidate. But I would assume before you get any major turn, you're going to come back and retest that 91.85. And that is going to scare some people uh, white. Okay, what else do we have? Okay. Microsoft, MSFT. Oh, we're going to the break. Anyway, we'll uh, be back in just a minute, wrap up the show, take a look at volume, and uh, check in with Microsoft, who's uh, down on a little bit more juice, but uh, pretty quiet today on the Western Front.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. we came out today we had a market that looked like it wanted to go higher um options still kind of point to about 375 on the spy uh we're up uh, two and a half right now on the spies so maybe another one and a half points and that may just be on people short covering into uh the close here maybe there's a little bit more um we had a little higher this morning we certainly got uh into the 378 area and i saw just a massive amount of call selling uh and uh, then the market rolled over fairly quickly after that kind of brought down the the uh, target to 375 uh but uh you could see that fairly easily and my guess is we're going to probably uh have at least some kind of run back up uh, to that level before the close but uh risk reward kind of tough today uh, markets are thin they're brittle um, headlines move anything uh, at any time beyond technicals, and uh, that makes it uh, risky if you don't have a position that's fairly long. And, of course, uh, the one out here that's uh, breaking above and beyond is uh, certainly the energy sector. Uh, I've been following a lot of people in that area. You got to 9302 today. Um, you're probably going to get a fairly decent amount of volume. Everybody's front running it. Everybody thinks that the oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve gets turned off next week. 
I don't know if that is true or not, but certainly a lot of people are saying as soon as the uh, election is done on Tuesday that they're going to start uh, moving uh, the amount that comes out down. Of course, uh, three weeks ago they doubled it. So there's uh, there's probably you know a huge amount of oil uh, price coming into the market uh, over the next month or two. So when you can, not when you have to, hang on for Basil. He's sitting in for Tom and his birthday. We're off on his birthday. And we'll see you Monday, bright and shiny, like a new penny. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.